Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's the Calflos here, and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough over in King. So, as usual, if you guys are going to enjoy it, you know what to do, consider liking this video as well as subscribing. Really do appreciate your support here, but most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads or single player playthroughs or content just like this one. And with that being said, let's get this episode started. So, here we are in the game, and as you can see, we are back in the Buru Grotto after completing two side quests in the Well of the Mother Serpent, uh, which I believe was just adjacent to this area. So, what we're going to be doing today is we're just going to continue the the chain of uh, side quests as well as bounties that we are attempting part of this uh, epilogue series here on the channel and we are going to speak to the next npc the next quest giver which is going to be this buru fellow over here so let's go ahead and see what he wants um alawi a moment of your time please he says okay uh, we don't really have to switch to alawi but i'm just going to do it for the sake of uh, realism <laughs> okay let's see what he wants uh, blessed the day that our paths have crossed. I've been awaiting an answer and suspect it has appeared in front of me. The Buru says his face looks anguished. With all the chaos surrounding us, the opportunists Naga have uh, decided now is the time to invade Fathom's Ferris, he says. The temple where the scroll contained the hymn of heavenly motion is stored has been breached by the beasts. Um, okay, why don't other Buru push the Naga back? Is the scroll just laying around in the open? We will retrieve it. Where's the temple? And we can, of course, say we can't help you. Okay, let's go ahead and ask him this. Uh, why don't the other Buru push the Naga back? They most certainly would, except all the able have been called away to stop the harrowing from spreading. The priests and priestesses are channeling and praying. There's no one left to help the temple since we are so stretched thin, he says. Well, to be fair, the harrowing is over. We've stopped it, so <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure what he's talking about. Uh, to be fair as well, this quest was supposedly supposed to be done, uh, you know, when we were halfway through the storyline. But I decided to delay it for, you know, uh, after the main storyline. So it could be partially my fault. <laughs> okay, uh, is the scroll just laying around in the, in the open? Let's ask him. Thankfully, no. It is in the inner chamber, hidden from the beast under a locking mechanism, but I fear it is only a matter of time before they figure out how to access it, he says. Okay, uh, let's accept the quest and see what this is about. We will retrieve it. Where is this temple? Thank Nagakaboros. Our goddess demands action, and I see my efforts have been smiled upon here. You can access it with your ship. It is the Fathom's Ferris Temple. Let me mark it on your map, he says. Okay, so we have to retrim the Hymn of Heavenly Motion and we need to go to Fathom's Ferris. And as he says, it is a area that's only accessible via um, the fast travel map. So let's go ahead and head back to the Charming Lady. Uh, for this particular mission as well, I've decided to go with Alawi, Misfortune and Brom. Brom is because if I'm not mistaken, there is a, uh, what is it, a mandatory segment. Well, not really mandatory, but there is a segment where, um, you know, he is going to be useful in Fathom's Ferris. That's why I have Brom along. Uh, Misfortune is just here because I think Misfortune is a much more aggressive option in case the need uh, you know to battle arises but chances are we're not gonna be doing any battles I really really would like to use the Aswell however but uh, you know like I said misfortune is a much better and a much more reliable damage dealing option at least for me so that's why I'm gonna go with her okay let's go ahead and head to the charming lady uh, dot worker sends attention escort the charming lady sure all right and let's go ahead and select Fathom's Ferris it should be somewhere on the map it's actually over this side okay let's go Okay, guys, so here we are. We are on Fathom's Ferris, and uh, if I just show you the map, it should give us an indicator. There we go, Fathom's Ferris. So, uh, looks like we have a very small and confined area here. We have a solarium as well as something called a Footfalls of Courage, and we have two chests as well as a manuscript. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, we're going to go ahead and tackle this dungeon, of course. Uh, to my understanding, there are a couple of high level enemies in this area as well. Um, I think there are four, you know, four waves of enemies. I'm going to try to get all of them into one fell swoop, you know, in. Uh, to do all of it in one go because i am at a high level level 30 so you know why not have some challenge but uh, you know if you guys are approaching this for the first time and you are uh, say at a lower level i highly recommend against it oh yeah let's see if we could uh, get them all together that would be great uh, apparently not <laughs> if, I, if we must all right uh we get a three wave battle uh, not exactly the four wave that I'd like, but you know, it's all right. We'll still deal with all four waves, um, you know, maybe separately. So yeah, we'll deal with the tree here and then we'll deal with the other one later. Okay, we have something called an imposing tight caller at level 25. Uh, we have the fire level advantage here, so I'm not really too concerned, but I'm still going to read what it does. Um, I see Javelin deals more than magic damage. Empowering Taunt increases attack power by about half for three turns or until targeted. Then we eat. 
by an attack. Thanks for interrupting, Braum. <laughs> uh, iron scales reduces damage by about 15%. Okay, so looks like we need to try to get them out uh, as quick as we can, I would say. Our basic strategy. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do a shredder here because I don't think we need to conserve mana, or do we? Um, 20 mana is a bit steep, so I think, you know what, let's go ahead and do a two-time here. Okay, good Anyone enough. Else? And we can do a free of charge shredder in the next turn. Uh, what we're going to do here at Braum is we're going to do an unbreakable. And let's do a defend as well. I know we're at a high level. I know we're at a high level, but, uh, you know, I don't want to risk potentially, you know, maybe some fluke accident where we die or something. So, yeah, just a safety precaution to have Brom taunt as well as do a defend there. Okay, but Alawi, let's do a tentacle smash, and I think we target... Who do we target? Who, would you t who do we target here? Um, okay, let's target this guy. Try to enjoy this. Try to get some damage, you know, evenly. Okay, with 30 overcharge, we can finally do a Misfortune Shredder and take advantage of the opening crit chance, which is good. Uh, let's do another Defend on Braum. Another notch on my gun. Okay, let's see if we could try to kill them here. Um, I really want to make sure that, you know, we don't waste another Shredder because this looks like a very weak target. I would rather have a Shredder on a new and fresh wave. So let's do a Tentacle Smash. And... I think this guy should die from his debuffs, hopefully. Okay, let's do a Tentacle Smash to the... And, uh, you know, let's not do a Tentacle Smash, actually. Let's do a Taunt here because if I'm not mistaken, a Taunt will actually force the Tentacles to strike. And then we could follow that up with maybe a Tentacle Smash. And that should kill this guy. Do we want to risk that? Um, no, let's not risk that. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's play it safe. Let's do a harsh lesson and uh, kill this guy. I have been waiting for this moment. That's a little bit of extra damage there, but it's all right. Uh, because what we'll do with Misfortune is her taunt is... Uh, sorry, not her taunt. Her critical chance is also up. So in order to get that restored, we're going to take advantage of that and do a Guns Blazing. And we're going to do it after Braum. And this is part of an elaborate scheme. <laughs> because what we can do with Braum is we can do a Concussive Blow here and kill this um, Tight Collar. Ah, uh, not quite. Come on. Just a little bit more. Why? I was, you know, I think I might have, uh, you know, um, guessed wrongly there. Okay, it's okay. Uh, let's do one more, I guess. Uh, we can't afford to waste some mana because we have enough for maybe another Shredder. Uh, no, let's not do a Guns Blazing. Let's do a fancy footwork here. And then we can do another Guns Blazing. It will put us after Alawi because Alawi's tentacles will take him Keep out here. Coming. Okay, the plan is still in motion. <laughs> All right, so let's do another Guns Blazing. There we go. Lawi takes them out, and we have a fresh wave. Okay, so Naga Warmasters, um, another form of new enemy. Let's go ahead and see what they do. Precise Strike deals more damage, and Vital Edge deals heavy damage and deals extra damage on a critical strike. Malevolent Precision increases critical strike chance by about a quarter, 25%. Okay, so I think what we're going to do here is let's do another Tentacle Smash with Alawi just to build up some overcharge, and we'll target either one. They're all in the same health. Okay, with Misfortune here, uh, since we have her turn up, let's do a Shredder power. All part of the plan. 
<laughs> okay, good enough. Waste of ammo. Okay, let's do another defend with Brawl. This damage shield is definitely coming down. That's why I'm, you know, doing defense here. Okay, let's do a... Will a double up kill them here? A double up could actually kill them. Uh, that could be good to be fair. 1990, 2985, uh, 1640. Okay, you know what? Let's do it double up, and I think we can kill this guy and take out this next guy as well. Cool. Okay, let's do a tentacle smash to this fellow. This ends. I actually want to try to see if we could get our third ultimate because we have not seen some of the third ultimates yet. Um, stuff like the crushing assault as well as I think um, Alawi's level 3 ultimate. So yeah, that's definitely something I would like to try to get. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we do here. Imposing Tight Collar and Naga War Master. So the same composition. Uh, we can repeat the same strategy. Let's do another Unbreakable. Sorry. Let's do a Defend as well. Alright, we know Misfortune's level 3 ultimate. We saw that in the fight against Viego, so I'm not gonna try to do that again. Uh, let's do a straight up shredder here. Try to weaken them all. How the hell did we miss the center fellow? <laughs> Which is a bit weird, uh, but it's alright. Oh yeah, let's see what is Alawi's low tree ultimate. Um, Avatar. 3, 3 500 damage to all enemies and heals all allies for 60% of their max health, reviving any fallen allies. Uh, you know what? Let's keep it for Braum. I think we should probably see Braum's. I think we've done this in the Viego battle as well. I can't remember, but you know what? Let's go ahead and just check out Braum's level 3 ultimate. I think that'll be much more fun. Okay, let's do a lane damage here with Alawi. Let's do a harsh lesson and we'll target this center fellow. Uh, I think we're gonna do a rally here. I uh, know that that's not what we're gonna do. Once we do a level two ultimate, it's gonna waste a level three. So yeah, that's not what we're gonna do. Uh, let's do maybe another lane. Let's do. Let's do Shredder. We'll go after Brom. That way, you know, we uh, guarantee Brom's level three ultimate. Got my finger on the trigger. Okay, let's do Brom's crushing assault, and I think we can target the thirty-five sixteen. Brom can't be stopped. You got that right, Alawi. That was definitely a cool ultimate, so very pleased with that. Gotcha. We're born All right. knowing what to do. We must only act. Okay, cool. So that is three waves done. Uh, we skipped the battle there because we don't get any XP. I know there's another enemy over here, so I'm going to quickly try to kill him. And of course we missed. Oh, we actually got them there, <laughs> which is cool. You have the strength of a We're just gonna try to mop the floor with him real quick, so let's do an unbreakable here with Brom. Because uh, it's targeting misfortune here, this guy. We want Brom to take damage, not misfortune. Let's do the fen. Oh, 
Okay, so let's do a tentacle smash here. Let's target the 5958. It's the same set of enemies, by the way, so no difference here. Okay, let's do a two time as well. See who we get. Not bad. Dead and buried. Okay, so we have another turn of Brom. Let's do a... What do we do? What do we do? Uh, we'll do another defend. We'll continue our strategy. Feeling better already. Let's go... Shredder. Let's go Harsh Lesson as well. Uh, I don't think this will kill anyone because Misfortune will go first. Uh, so I think we're not. We'll just park it at maybe the highest level enemy, the highest health enemy, and uh, you know, see what happens. Goddess is light. Oh, I misplayed there that one. I misplayed there a little bit. I think. Yeah, I definitely misplayed Waste a little bit. It's all right. It's all right. We can still win this. Don't worry. Okay, why well, say I misplayed that one there? Because um, the I did not notice that this guy was actually in the healing zone. So essentially, it healed himself back up. It would have been better to have Alawi target uh, the tight call instead. But uh, eventually, the harsh lesson still took out the second fellow. So, you know, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's do a two time here. This should be some good damage. Hopefully, we get to kill the tight caller. Nice. Someone clean up this mess. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. So I think we've cleared out the room. Ideally, we don't need to clear out the room, but I'm doing it just, you know, so that we have more space to work with. I would like to grab the manuscript as well as the chest here. Um, while I slept, an entry in Fathom's Ferris. We can just ignore this. Uh, let's go ahead and check out this chest. Whoa. Okay, it's a level 25 enemy and it's coming towards us. Okay, let's kill it. Let's kill it. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I cannot kill him. Well, not kill him, but I cannot strike it. Remember to stretch. <laughs> All right, Angler Trickster. Uh, very basic enemy. Uh, let's go ahead and see what it does. I think we've seen what it does. I can't remember. Feeding Frenzy, uh, Lure Flash, uh, uh, Polly's debuffs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, we've definitely seen what this guy has done. Um, he will definitely take um, some of our debuffs and, and turn maybe apply some to ourselves. So, uh, yeah, we have to be really, really careful with this guy. And ideally, we're just going to have to try to kill him quickly. Okay, yeah, let's do a tentacle smash here. Let's do... We don't have enough mana, so let's do a concussive blow. Uh, let's get a two time here. Fish in a barrel. Another notch on my gun. He's targeting. He's targeting Alawi, which is cool. Oh, he targets everyone. Right, that's a multi bully, I believe. Um, it's all right. We should be. Have, we should have more than enough damage to take him out here. Let's do a shredder. Uh, harsh lesson just in case he doesn't die and let's get a concussive blow just to get um, I think another concussion on just in case all right that was a very That'll quick battle <laughs> I thought you'd be stronger 
I thought so too, Alawi. I definitely thought the enemies would be stronger, but um, we are at level 30. And as you can see, very low level gear because, you know, obviously we are at a high level. Um, so I guess this, you know, this dungeon was supposedly supposed to be complete, um, you know, early on. And the enemies must have scaled in level. Um, maybe that's why we have to take them on. Okay, uh, we have a couple of chests here. Let's go and just quickly loot this. Brom also here is a Poro nearby. Uh, I tell you what, we'll check that out some other time because we're also running out of time. We'll keep that in mind for the next episode. Let's go and just loot this chest. Hopefully we don't run into any more enemies. We do not. We get idle destruction and a soldier shade. Okay, I think these are low-level gear, so I don't think that's going to be too important. I know up ahead there is a Solarian room, and the chest supposedly is still... Um, no, not yet looted. Or there is another area this side. Oh, there actually is another area to side. Okay, I tell you what, we'll solve all this in the next episode because we're actually running out of time right here. So yeah, we are going to want to end the video here before, you know, things get too deep. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Ring King. And if you did, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel. Really do appreciate your support here. But most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of single player pages of content just like this one. And with that being said, this is Kevlo signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully I catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.